Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. So this is programming assignment of week 9. So before getting into that, I want to show you that. So I am planning to prepare the NPTEL practice MCQs for the joy of computing using Python course guys. So there will be approximately 150 to 200 practice MCQs. So it is completely based on NPTEL syllabus. There is no outside syllabus involved, purely NPTEL based. So many people who are watching this video are the students and it may be a semester course. So as a student offer, we are providing for just 89 rupees only. No one, no one is providing the practice MCQs guys. So only our channel is providing MCQs, especially for NPTEL students. So please join your classmates also and make them join in this course. So it will be very beneficial for you and not only this this course you can get all the courses that i upload regarding practice mcqs for just 89 rupees that means within this same pack you can get all the videos i upload so you can see that so let's go to our channel page this this is our channel page so here you can see i have uploaded many courses data mining programming data structures and algorithms using python i think guys it will be related to you so i have made two parts of this video these two also will be included within 89 rupees only no need to pay extra charge so with just 89 rupees you can get two python courses and many courses here there are database management skill development soft skill development and cloud computing iot etc many courses i am doing guys so you can get all these courses for single 89 pack only per month so hope you use this opportunity to the great extent and join in this guys i think it will be very much beneficial for you ahead of the final exam so hope you take good decision and join your classmates and friends also please make them join and recommend this channel so that you can get better practice and it will be more encouragement for me if you join in groups so that i can make better parts of the video because i am going to make the videos in probably two or four parts so if you join more members then i can get more encouragement to do the better parts from next ne better content from next part of the videos so hope you take good decision and join in this guys with this less, less price no one is giving at least no one is providing practice and secrets it itself so only our channel is providing for just 89 rupees only not even 100 rupees so this is very good opportunity guys so use this and get better practice ahead of the final exam so let's see the solutions now so in order to join the pack you can just go to our channel page beside the subscribe button there is join button right so click on that there are three types of packs available you can select either 119 rupees pack or 89 because 119 pack is a three in one pack that means you can get benefits of all the other two packs also within this same pack and also the speciality of 119 pack is if i upload any live videos you can get access to that so if you don't want the live videos you want only recorded videos you can join in 89 pack whichever uh, whatever is it, it depends on your comfort so it's your choice guys you can join in either 89 or 119 so that's it first try it in your mobile to make payment after that try your pc mobile phone is most probably recommended so let's go to the assignment so this is programming assignment one so given two strings s1 and s2 write a function substring with sub str which accepts two parameters s1 and s2 and it will return true if a s2 is a substring of s1 otherwise false so let's see the i will show you the code guys carefully write that code because you may get indentation error so please watch it carefully so this is the code guys within three lines so i'm going to copy this you can carefully write this so these two statements within the function so guys this is capital s this is small s so observe the difference otherwise you may get error so hope you have noted it down so let's see the execution whether it executes or not i'm going to paste it here and zoom it for you once again 
so guys this is the code so note it down carefully so hope you have noted it down so let's see the execution i am going to zoom it back now clicking on compile and run button here to check whether the public test case is passed or not so you can see 4 by 4 public test cases passed every status is showing passed so our solution is correct so let's check private test cases also by clicking on submit button so here you can see that private test cases are also passed so our solution is 100% correct so let's move on to the second question now so second programming assignment so give, there are two dictionaries d1 and d2 we have to write a function called merge dictionary dic so that accepts two dictionaries and return a new dictionary by merging both d1 and d2 so now let's see that this is first question code Let, so let's see the second question now so guys this is the second question code please note it down carefully i will show you how the indentation works here so all these should be within the function and this return should be with uh, parallel to this for loop and this for loop should be mean if statement should be within this for loop and this statement d1 of i should be within the if if statement so this is the indentation guys please note it down carefully don't do any mistakes because some people are making even small mistakes regarding the indentation so don't do that mistake please carefully write it down type it down so don't get hurry you have a lot of time for the final submission i think so please note it down carefully so hope you have noted it down guys you can pass the video or you can take a screenshot so i'm going to copy this so let's see in the compiler i'm going to paste it here i will zoom this for you once again so this is the code guys so hope you have noted it down so let's zoom it back let's see the execution so here you can see 4 by 4 public test cases passed so let's see check the private test cases also by clicking on submit button so all the test cases are also passed regarding private test cases so our solution is 100% correct so let's move on to the third and final programming assignment of this week 9 guys i have also making the video on quiz assignment you can also watch that so this is third programming assignment so here take a integer n as an input so you should print all the indexes of the numbers in that integer from left to right so let's let me show you the code so before that once again i will show you this so guys you will get 150 to 200 practice mcqs nearly so for just 89 rupees as a student offer completely nptel based and no outside questions are involved completely nptel based questions so guys hope you use this opportunity and make your friends to join in this membership guys already many people have joined so you can see here they, these are the top 8 members so many people have already joined here so you to join in them to get better benefit before the final exam it will be hope it will be a good practice for you so let's see the third question code now so this is third one I mean second one so this is the third one guys so i'm going to copy this guys you can carefully copy and type 
so this for loop should be within parallel to this for loop and these should be written within the for loop and the if statement should be within the for loop and the index of i should be within the if statement so this is the indentation structure guys so don't make any mistake so note it down so hope you have noted it down so i'm going to paste it in the compiler interface i will zoom this once again for you so guys this is the code so carefully note it down you can take a screenshot or you can pass the video and type it so hope you have done that so now i am going to zoom back let me do the execution for you so i am clicking on compile and run button to check for public test cases passed or not so here you can see 4 by 4 test cases public test cases passed so let's click on submit button to check private test cases passed or not so here also four test cases are passed so our solution is 100% correct for third question also and final question also so guys these are the programmatic solutions for week 9 assignment and i am also going to upload quiz assignment you can get it there once check for the video so as i said join in this 18n pack guys it will be very beneficial for you as a practice be ahead of the final exams and there are many many parts of the videos not only single video you'll get you can get maybe two or four parts based on the content you can get all the videos that i upload within this pack only within 18n rupees only so it will be very beneficial for you within less price no one is providing guys at least no one is giving the mcqs also so hope you use this opportunity and please share this video link in your whatsapp groups guys and make any every one of your classmates aware that to join in this pack and get benefited as a practice before the final exam so that's it for this video guys so if you hope you like the video if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like the video and share this to your friends so make them everyone join your classmates in this 18 and pack and get benefited for the final exam practice with the, with the mcqs guys completely nptl based syllabus so until the next video goodbye thank you